should be safe now. There's no way he could track me out. Old. Ugh. You are no ordinary man. Enough of this game. Tell me what you want and leave me be. Do not come near me. Stay away from you? What do you think I've been trying to do all day, you ignorant man-spawn? I found this bag. It's full of weeds. Or something. That's my bag. I know. You dropped it near the camp. Is that why you were chasing me over Hill and Dale? Why didn't you just tell me? Yes, well, when I saw your face, I became paralyzed with fear. And then you fled before I had a chance to explain. Ugh. This is insulting. Wait. Don't forget your weeds. I don't want them. Or the bag. They are yours now. Blast. What am I supposed to do with these? Hmm. I wonder if they taste good. Blech! A poor idea. You again? I want to return this bag of weeds. I'm tired of carrying it around all the time. Idiot human. Why didn't you just throw it away? Never mind. Here, give it to me. Don't come any closer. I'll toss the bag your way, and you can pick it up. Do you hate my kind so much? It's not your kind I mind. It's your gender. And why would you, a human skilled in swordplay, possibly fear all females? I have my reasons. I'm haunted by nightmares. Confused, terrifying memories from my past. When I approach a woman, be she Tagwell or human, I am gripped by an icy fear. Then I am not the only one plagued by terrible memories. I do not like to speak of it. If the others knew I still suffered from childish nightmares, they would think me weak. Throw me the bag. Here. Thank you. Now wait right there. What are you doing? I'm making a special brew using the herbs I collected. Here. <sighs> it smells vile, and there are twigs floating in it. Just drink it down. Are you sure it's safe for humans? Drink it or don't. I care not. Very well. Ugh. Ugh. It tastes even worse than it smells. Yes, but you'll find it helps with your nightmares. <sighs> Gods, that was awful. I hope this isn't some kind of elaborate practical joke. Hello, Pan. You look cheerful. I assume this to mean the potion did its deed? This is good. I wasn't sure it would work on humans. Your brew did more than cure me of my nightmares. Since I drank that draught, I've been having the most wonderful dreams. The effects will wear off soon. Wait while I brew another mug. Thank you. Done. I'll just leave it here and back away. Right. Down the hatch. Ugh. The taste does not improve with exposure. But if it means no more nightmares, I'll drink a barrel and ask for more. Tell me, Pan, why do you help me? I know you've little love for humans. Well, I've already given you the herbs. I didn't want them to go to waste. And why did you collect them in the first place? Were they for you? Are you also haunted by nightmares? I often dream of the night Manspawn raised my village and murdered my kin. Just before she died, my mother told me I mustn't hate all humans. She said they were good men, as well as wicked. And I was never to forget it. But why did you make the potion for me? I told you, I didn't want the herbs to go to waste. You have a good heart. You know nothing about me. Here for another dose of Pan's potion? Sit there while I make it. Actually, I thought I'd offer my own brew. Elderberry and tea leaves from Ferox. There's no better tea in all the lands. If you are so confident, I suppose I must try some. Hmm. Why, this is good. You know, it's funny. What is? Whenever I talk to you, a warm and fuzzy feeling comes over me. I'd assumed it was because of your potion, but I have the same feeling right now. And I haven't touched a drop. Now that you mention it, I feel the same way. There's no medicine in that brew, just Ferox's 
finest tea leaves. And it certainly is delicious. I could drink this every day. If we were to spend more time together, I would make you a cup every morning. Are you implying what I think you are, human? Tagwell or human, it matters not to me. You are just the woman I love. Things have changed since we first met. Remember how afraid you were? I do. But I'm not anymore. Pan, will you accept this ring? Ah, a bribe to spice the proposal. Such a typical human custom. But I know you speak from the heart. And so I accept. You're the first human I've known who makes me forget about the past. And for that, I shall be eternally yours.